If you want to pay less taxes legally and you want to go somewhere where you have more freedom for your business, for yourself, for your family, for your investment, how do you pick the right place? Because I talk about Dubai and the UAE a lot, but maybe this is not the right place for you. I suggest these three steps if you want to start finding the perfect place. The first one is to travel to five to 10 countries that have lower taxes than where you live. So if you're living in the US or the UK or Canada or any country, around Europe, where can you go that has lower taxes than you? We talk about many different countries, there's links in the description to more videos on the best countries to pay zero tax, whether you're an investor or you're making income tax, personal income or corporate tax. So you could come here to Dubai, you could go over to the Bahamas, to Cayman Islands, you could go to other places like Singapore. If you're at a higher caliber, if you have more money, you can go to Singapore, you can go to Monaco, and see how you like life in Monaco. Spend one or two weeks, maybe even a month in each country if you want to make the correct decision so that you see how life is in that place, in that country. So you could come to Dubai for a week, you could see the skyscrapers, the amazing freedom that you have here, the zero tax, truly zero tax. Do the proper research on that country because some countries, for example, like Panama, a lot of people move to Panama and they think, oh, I don't need to pay taxes in Panama. You actually need to pay taxes in Panama. Or Mexico, you need to pay taxes in Mexico, most people don't pay them, but look at the law so that you're doing everything legally, specifically if you have a bigger company and bigger investment level. Because if you have $1 million versus if you have $100 million, the $100 million person, if you're that person, you are a target for most governments for your taxes. So you need to make this decision wisely. The second step, once you travel to many different countries, you see life in other places. Maybe you've been stuck in one place or you've just been living in one country, let's say that's the US or UK, for your whole life, you never traveled abroad, never gone to anywhere else, then that first step will cover that. The second step is to set up a residence and a company somewhere in the world that has zero tax or that has less taxes. Obviously, look at blacklist, make sure you're not going to a country that your country is gonna penalize you for, for example, in Portugal. If you go to Dubai and you continue living in Portugal, then you might still pay taxes for that company. It's blacklisted. So look at the different blacklists, look at the different tax treaties as well. For example, for Canadians, going to Barbados makes a lot of sense because they have a great tax treaty. So just open a residency permit somewhere in the world, whether that's here in Dubai, the easiest and fastest, whether that's Mexico, you get permanent residency, whether you buy property somewhere and you get residency that way, whether you get citizenship by investment as well, which is the third step to get another citizenship. The first one is just to get residency somewhere else in the world so that if things get bad enough in your country, if you think they're not that bad yet, but let's say in the next presidential election or this prime minister is gonna do well or not, if he doesn't do well, then let me get out of the country. Let me go to that place where I also have residency. So you always have that option, that backup plan that you can go to in case your country gets bad enough. If you're looking for a fast and easy way, it's not a cheap way, but it's an easy way if you have the money to get residency somewhere else, in a place that you're not gonna have problems, in a place that you can have good banking, zero tax, and a lot of people that speak English, then definitely choose Dubai, where I live. You can get residency in as little as three weeks, and you only need to come to Dubai for one week you get your residency permit, you can open bank accounts online, and then you can always come to Dubai to live a zero tax lifestyle if your country gets bad enough. So that's the second step, just to get residency. And the third step is to actually move to another country or to get citizenship by investment if you need to do it. If you're an American, for example, you need to renounce your US citizenship, then you need to get a second citizenship, whether it's by descent or citizenship by investment, by investing in a country like I did with St. Kitts and Nevis. And then you can renounce your US citizenship to stop paying US taxes. The third step is to actually take the leap of faith, to go somewhere else, to move to Dubai, to move to another country where you have a better lifestyle, more freedom. You can do whatever you want with your business, with your bank, your family's happier, you don't have this woke mentality of the West, that's the last step. And that's what it means to be a wealthy expat. You don't need to be a wealthy expat right now to go somewhere else right now and just rush it and move somewhere. You can first do a lot of research. You can then just get that residency just in case. And then you can move. You don't need to move next month. This channel is not only for people that wanna move somewhere right away. Or you can move to multiple places around the world. You can get multiple citizenships. So you could have Dubai for three months of the year to get tax residency, 
starting next year. Then you could go to Latin America, then you could go to Asia for the rest of the year, or you could spend time in Europe or back home in the US, UK, Australia. You could split your time between different countries. And that's the ultimate step that you need to take, but you need to take it in a very planned way, in a very strategic way once you've done all the research before. If you're looking for options around the world to have a residency permit, to live in, to pay less taxes, and overall have more freedom, then check out these two videos. This one for income taxes, if you run a business, if you pay yourself a salary, check this one out, and this one for capital gains taxes. If you run investments, if you have a fund, if you invest in crypto, anything capital gains, check them out right here.